work, I got school, yada yada yada, some bullshit. Anyway, this chapter is beyond simple. First off, Akame and, uh, oh my god, I have not read the manga in so long. Akame and Leone are trying, are fine, talking with Tatsumi. Yo, after one transformation with fucking Incursio, this nigga is like demonifying slowly. Well, she's turned, yo, it's taking him over. His face, his eyes, his hands. It's really like rapid. It looks like he's like being infected. But after that, they talk to him. They calm him down a little bit. And apparently, his transformation was related to his mindset. His negativity about transforming was apparently making him transform faster. And like now, he because he's, he's you know, with them and happy, the transformation has reversed itself a little bit. Not completely. I mean, his eye is still dragonified. And like t the side of his cheek looks a little bonish, but whatever. Um, goddamn, General sends Akame on a on a mission. That's one part of the shit. I'll get to the that later. In the capital, so much shit is happening. As Death is experimenting with her powers, she there's like an army of a thousand dudes about to attack. She buys them, obviously, because it's. It's as death. She's done something that's really simple, and I'm surprised that she never thought of before. Because she can make ice float, she decides to wrap parts of her body in ice in order to make her fly. It doesn't, as she says herself, it doesn't work as well as Rand's flying, but it's still useful. And uh, the others, the masochist, weird creepy i'm surprised she's still alive i thought as death would have killed her bitch is doing her shit <sighs> fucking kurome is doing her shit wave is the only guy who does not kill why is wave on their side yo i don't even care anymore i just want wave to fight tatsumi and die because that's how it that's how it should be um with some bullshit akame takes out another general which would you mind mind Two minutes. Thank you. Takes out another general, and that dude just gets bodied. I really hope that dude was not on the same level as Bu Budo because that that would be just pathetic. I mean, it doesn't look like he had a tegu, but still, it that that's pathetic. That's goddamn pathetic. God damn. Fuck it. Um, kills that dude. Wave sees her. Wave wants to fight Akame. Now, normally I would say Wave would win because the Accursio armor isn't going to get pierced by Murasame, which means he's not going to die. But Akame seems arrogantly confident. She says this is a perfect chance to reclaim the armor. Now, obviously, she's probably not going to. But if she, not if she can cut him, but if she can crack the armor in any way, or even crazier, if she can force Wave to do what Tatsumi did, it would be insane. I would love that. That would be so awesome if that were to be the case. Especially if Wave is forced to, like, enhance his fucking Tegu takeover possession faster than Tatsumi is. And then by the end of it, they only have maybe one or two transformations before they die. That would be awesome. Anyway, that's the end of the chapter. Like, rate, subscribe. I will see y'all for the next.